Hi and welcome to another episode of Hills Hawks TV. Hi. We are here with the Freeman family, we're here with the Peebles family, uh, we're here with Beck, we're here with Dot, Tom, Debbie, Dave and Greg. Thank you for your time. What we wanted to do first was just talk about some of those uh, early days uh, here in the community and how the club sort of brought you all together. Maybe some of your earlier memories, Dot, and where it all began. You're there. Um, yeah. So um, Ken, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got a son. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. And Greg played with um, Jeff, is that right, in yes. the early days? Yes. Yeah. yes. So and we just Banks. had an interview with the Willemsons, so they were. Gary Banks. So right. tell us about when the club, so the word went around that there was going to be a soccer club for you. Hills Memorial Club, we were named then, and they sent pamphlets or messages around all the schools that they're going to form a soccer club. We obviously got four teams, under 12, Not a bad start, under 10, yeah. under 8 and under 7s I think, or under 9s and under 7s, yeah. they were the four teams, and then it built from there. Tell us about the fields, what were they like in the early days? Uh, I heard some stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not one word, dreadful. <laughs> well, the, well the first one ran east-west, as we've yeah. before, yeah. and it had all bush around it, and it had a trotting track around the outside of the bush, as you do. and <laughs> the condition of the field was about like the gravel car park. Uh, we didn't play here for two years while they rebuilt. Oh, to, that's right. Yeah, they and cut it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they added, and then the mini fields were added again when they got a whole heap of fill out of Cherry Book, when that was they put all a lot of fill there and built those ones out there. Because both the fields used to run east-west when they did it. And apparently a little bit of a slope was... was <laughs> yeah, that yeah, a good slope, yeah. 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 So if you're going this way, it was helpful. Yeah, if you ran, if ran west, it was OK, yeah, yeah running yeah. downhill. And you were involved well, in the early days as well, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do a bit of coaching? Oh, I managed the all-age teams, teams, all teams, teams yeah. yeah. Oh, about team one. Yeah. The years you managed, that won the whole cup. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then, so Debbie, you got involved in the club as well. One when I got married to Greg yes. in, back in '85. Yes. yes. What are some of your greatest memories of being involved in the club in that? I used to love the gala days when the when yeah. oh, yeah, the no, no, no. and we'd come along yeah, well, under sixes, under sevens, under eights, and watching yes. them play and being involved with them. Yeah, that was fantastic. Playing, playing under sixes, Darlin' the big gala days. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. But, yeah. But Tom, you played in the under sixes back in the day. I think, yeah, I think I was four. I think he started yeah. when he was four. Yeah. 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 Until we just didn't tell anyone. Yeah. 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 And then went, I think we won one of the gala days. Yeah. Um, yes. And then, yeah, it was just been massive, and then just eventually all the way through to now. Wow. Yeah. So you played every year. Every year. Pretty much every year. I don't even missed a year. So. How did that? Yeah. And yeah. so you've formed a lot of friendships. Oh, what are some yeah. of your memories? So I think still, still got mates that play. Yeah. Probably still three or four that still, um, you know, we went to Fiji for a, a trip as well. Oh, yes. Love the under-13s, we yeah. took yeah. to Fiji. So that was, that was good. Yeah. So been, who were some of the coaches that stood out for you? A lot of them have just been dads, to be honest. Yeah. Um, uh, we had Pat Byrne, remember? Pat, he Pat wasn't Burns. a dad. He Pat was Burns. great. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's good. so great about the books, that it is the parental involvement. Yes. You know, and uh, people step up. Yeah. Yeah. So you play in the women's Yes, yeah, so I'm playing right? in the Lady Hawks. Yeah. But um, I worked in the canteen for about 10 years. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm friends with a lot of now the next generation. So Greg's daughter, Kylie. Yes. Um, and obviously Jeff's boys, yeah. Aaron and Dean and Brendan as well. So we we're all a really nice little close group. We all met through soccer. And every Saturday was at soccer every single week. And that was, <laughs> that was how we used to yeah, <laughs> spend our weekends. But it was nice. It was always the family together. and. Yeah, we had a wonderful time as kids just running around the field and yeah, now back still playing. And yeah, in the early days we used to have our soccer yeah, dinner yeah. dance in the yeah. poultry sheds at Harry Williamson's place. And I'd park a truck in there and I'd put a band on there and uh, go to one of the clubs and get one of the portable uh, forum machines, get all the kegs in there. Do a presentation days that we used to have at Park. Oh, yes, they were fantastic too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dads versus the kids. Oh, and the dads would so pick you up yeah. and throw you around yeah. as you were trying to play. Yeah. And we used to have yeah. everyone all in, all the kids, yeah. and yeah. you'd be there all day and have the best time, and you'd make pikelets for us all. And <laughs> it was yeah. brilliant. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> You're watching Hills Hawks TV. Happy 50th, everyone. Go the Hawks! Go the Hawks! Thank <laughs> you.